Electric vehicles mainly depend on their battery. And today in the market, you get two types of batteries in EVs. If we talk especially about two wheelers, then you will see graphene and lithium batteries. If you are confused about which battery you should choose, then this video is for you. In the market, you will find many different brands of these batteries. And because of these batteries, the price of the EV becomes low or high. If you buy an EV with a graphene battery, you get it at a cheaper price. And if you take it with a lithium battery, then it becomes a little costly. Recently, we visited EV EVXO, where you were getting an electric scooter for 40,000 rupees only with the battery included. And its range was around 40 to 50 kilometers. In that scooter, you get a graphene battery. If you want a long range of 60 to 70 or 90 to 100 kilometers, then a lithium battery is used there and their prices also go up to 60 to 70,000 or even 90,000 rupees. The graphene battery is basically an upgraded form of the old lead acid battery. Graphene material is used in it. Because of this, its connectivity, heat resistance and charging efficiency have increased. This is why it is used a lot now and is also available at a low price. On the other hand, if we talk about lithium batteries, inside them you get lithium ion cells. It depends on the battery which cell is used because many different types of cells can be used to make a lithium battery. It depends on capacity and size. So lithium batteries work differently from graphene batteries. Lithium batteries also give many benefits, but they also have some disadvantages or limitations. If we talk about the advantages of graphene batteries, the biggest advantage is the low cost because they are very cheap. Second, you get around 600 life cycles, which is more than old lead acid batteries, but less than lithium batteries. They are also very safe and can run without BMS. That is why you can use them in any EV. They work well in both hot and cold areas. Extreme weather does not have a big negative impact. This also makes them a good battery. And the last benefit is recycling. Just like lead acid batteries can be recycled, graphene batteries can also be recycled. If we talk about the disadvantages, they are heavy. If you take a high capacity battery, the weight increases more. Other than this, you do not see many big disadvantages. Now talking about lithium batteries, they have many strong advantages. First is the lightweight and compact size. They give more power backup in less space so you get good range in your EV and they are lightweight. Because of this, they also give better range. They support fast charging. You can charge a lithium battery fully in 2 to 3 hours. In comparison, a graphene battery may take 5 to 6 hours depending on the capacity. Lithium batteries are maintenance free. You do not need to add any water. You install it once and forget it. Talking about the limitations, the cost is high. The upfront cost of lithium batteries is more. You need to pay more money in the beginning, but you get benefits in the long term. You can get around 1500 to 3000 life cycles depending on the quality. The higher the life cycles, the longer the battery life. If you buy a battery with 3000 cycles, it can last up to 10 years. If a lithium battery is used without the correct BMS, it can overheat and even catch fire. Many times you must have seen EVs catching fire. The biggest problem is that if the correct BMS is not used with a lithium battery, it overheats and catches fire quickly. Both batteries have their own benefits and drawbacks. If you want to buy a battery for the long term, then go with a lithium battery. If you want a budget friendly solution, then a graphene battery is a very good option. If you still have any questions or suggestions, comment in the video comment box. If you like the video, like it and share it. Also subscribe to our channel. After subscribing, press the bell icon so that you keep getting videos like this on time.